Hey guys, it's Adra from Style Assisted and today I thought I would do a really quick handbag haul. I actually ordered three handbags in the past week and so I thought I would do sort of a first impressions and let you guys know what I think of them. Also, I was going to show you the handbag that I've been carrying around lately. This is actually from Kate Spade and I love it. I love it because it's a slouchy crushed leather that you can sort of throw around. Um, as a mom, I'm always throwing my purse around and I found it really hard to have really high-end handbags because I've got a toddler running around and he's dirty and he's active and I don't want to mess up or scuff a really nice purse. And every once in a while he'll grab a purse and run off with it or drag it along and it's really, really hard for me to maintain the pristine, I guess, level of care that I normally do for my handbags. So I thought I would get one that can take a little bit more wear and tear than my normal ones. So this has a zip on the top and a zip in the back. I can close that. And it actually has a zip on the bottom and the sides if you want to expand it so that it gets bigger. But like I said, the reason I love this is because it's this crushable leather so you can expand it. It doesn't expand a ton, but just a little bit. But it has this shorter handle that's sturdy that you can use to throw over your arm or you can throw it over your shoulder or it has crossbody. And crossbody is basically a must these days because I'm always picking the kid up so I need something I can throw over my shoulder so that I can pick him up and my purse won't constantly fall off. So um, I will actually put the link to this below. I actually believe that it is on sale right now. And I think that it comes in this red, which I think the color is cherry liqueur and it comes in either a white or a tan or something like that. But I love this. This is literally the perfect mom bag. And then the inside, there's tons of stuff in it. So, but it's in the normal Kate Spade where it has one zipper pouch and then two, like I call them iPhone pouches, the open pockets. But that's it. I mean, it's great. It's very sturdy. It's beautiful. Um, it's really soft and I absolutely love it. And the red it shows dirt a little less than any of the other lighter colors. So it's perfect and it's cheery and you guys know I love a pop of color. So I will put this in the description box below. Okay, next up is this, which is the small, it's a Kate Spade and it's a small Lauren. Um, I love it. So it's hot pink, sort of almost the color of my fuchsia lipstick, which by the way is, it's a Clinique chubby stick in the color Pudgy Peony, which is adorable. But anyway, so this, the reason I love is once again, crossbody, which is absolute necessity as a mom. Um, it has this cute little pocket on the back that you can put, I don't know, business cards. I don't know why they have that back there, but it's a really smooth leather. Um, and it has this adorable edge, you know, pinking shears where, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's actually edged with pinking shears. So the entire edge has this adorable little detail and it does it all the way through all the stitching on the sides and then has this adorable little um, luggage tag hanger thing that they normally do. And I just love it and I love the color and it's perfect for spring and um, I just think that it's super cute and it zips on the top. So if you need to make sure that your belongings do not fall out, you can do that. And obviously you can see as normal, it's it's pretty small and it's a pretty lightweight leather. Um, so luckily the purse doesn't start out heavy so you can load the sucker down and it won't get super heavy. So the inside looks actually different than a normal Kate Spade. It has, oh, there's still some, something in there. Don't know what that is. Um, it's actually completely open and it's red on the inside and then it has this pocket that actually folds out and it has a little zipper in there as well and then it has like the care card that you have with every single handbag that you get I think from any designer it usually tells you what the, the handbag is made of and then tells you the general care so this is the small Lauren in this hot pink fuchsia color I don't remember what the color is oh it's in I don't know what that color is it's in initials and I don't know what that means but so here's this one which I think is super cute I hope you guys like this and I will pull up the next one so this one is actually going to be sort of an unboxing because I just literally got this in the mail like five minutes ago so this is the tiny Cooper gray street in CY side blue but look how cute and it's the same soft pebbled leather as my red handbag and it's just the most adorable thing ever. 
because I've sort of wanted one of these bucket bags, but I just hadn't really bit the bullet yet and decided to get one. So I'm trying to pull this off as fast as possible so you guys can see it. Um, really, really cute. I love this ice blue color. It's perfect for spring. And I love this color in general because of my fair skin. It always seems to complement it pretty well. Um, okay, that's not coming off. So <laughs> there you go. So here are the cute little straps that hang down. This one still has a little paper on it that I'm trying to get off. But as you can see, they hang lower than the actual bag. And it's not super big. So if you look what I normally carry, this sucker, this little guy is like half the size. But this is the type of thing that you get if you just want something for, I don't know, like to run some errands or an evening out or something like that. Or I have a lot of friends that use things like this as their mom bag instead of a diaper bag. Um, instead of putting something of theirs in the diaper bag, they'll just carry something small like this instead. But I love the tassel details. Um, it's got this really nice, they're sort of light gold hardware that is their signature. Um, that has the little cutout of the Kate Spade um, logo. And then the inside, if I can get this open, is just open with one little um, cell phone pocket, and that's it. I mean, it's a tiny little guy, but it's super cute and crossbody because, as I previously mentioned, that is an absolute must in my world. But super cute, right? I love it, and I love, I just love the tassels. Tassels are a thing. They're so cute, and I absolutely adore them. So this, once again, is the Tiny Cooper Gray Street, and I will, of course, leave the link below. Okay, last but not least, I actually got a non-Kate Spade. I know, I know, most of my purses actually are almost always Kate Spade. Um, but this, I actually saw on Nordstrom, and it was only like $50 or something crazy like that. So, I thought I was gonna get it and see what I thought about it. This is a bucket bag, again, but ginormous, and literally like a fourth of the price of that itty bitty Kate Spade. So let's take a look at it and get it open. <laughs> they pack these things really well. Okay, so it is a gorgeous gray color, and you guys know I love gray. Gray and stripes is basically my uniform. I laugh when I look in my closet because even though I have pops of color, the majority of my mom uniform that I wear day to day is gray and stripes. So we have this bucket bag which has a regular shoulder strap, which I love, and ta-da, a crossbody, which is fantastic. And it's super cute. I mean, it's got, you know, the same basic detailing, the exact same color as the Kate Spade, the exact same what looks like to be um, hardware, except it doesn't have the Kate Spade logo cut out of it, but it can't, for $50, I mean, I'm sure this is not real leather. There's no way it could be real leather. I'm sure it's like synthetic whatever, which I can always research and see if it's vegan or not because that is always great. I know a lot of people love having that as an option. Does it say? Polyester. <laughs> so absolutely not leather. But you guys, look how ginormous this thing is. Look, like I could put it on my head probably. Yes, it's that big. Woo. Just wanted to demonstrate. Things are getting crazy over here on the Style Assisted YouTube channel. But, regardless, super stinking cute. Um, it looks like real leather. I'm very impressed with the quality. It's really soft. Um, it has the pebbled leather look, so it doesn't look like that shiny polyester look. Um, sometimes you can tell. The inside is a black, matte black polyester. Um, but in general, super, super cute, and I love this. And if you guys are looking for something that you can kind of take your own, or you have kids that just store things, or you just don't want to spend a lot of money on a handbag, this is a perfect solution for you because it's super trendy, and it's this color of gray that I absolutely love because it's more of a lighter gray. Sometimes you get grays that are a little bit more blue, or they just don't match the rest of the gray in your wardrobe. So this is super adorable, and I love it. So I will put this in the link below as well. Okay, so I also got this one from Nordstrom as well, and this is a Rebecca Minkoff, which once again, not Kate Spade, but I just wanted to see what it looked like. A lot of times, since I don't have a Nordstrom close by me, 
which I'm sure a lot of you have that same problem, whether you are in a smaller city or you just don't have a Nordstrom that's close enough for you to be able to go access, or you just want to see something online and want to know what it looks like in person. Because a lot of times I look at the description box and I get out my tape measure and I'm trying to like lay out exactly how big a purse is going to be when I look at it. But I'm sure you guys have had the problem where you get a purse and you're like, oh, that's way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Or it's way smaller than you thought it was going to be. Because they show pictures with the model, but for some reason, I don't know why, but that never is quite as indicative as I would like it to be. So, I like to order things and then actually look at it in person since Nordstrom has that fantastic um, free shipping both ways, free shipping and free returns. I do not like to buy things online unless they have free returns. I'm looking at UJ Crew. Free returns would be awesome. I would shop there more if you had free returns. Anyway, so Rebecca Minkoff, this is the Micro Perry Satchel. And this little guy is tiny. He's black and he's super cute, but he's way smaller than I thought he would be. Once again, who's surprised? Crossbody strap, because that's my thing. Um, and then there is a pocket up front. There is a pocket in the back, and then you can zip it open. And get this open. Ooh, lots of things inside. And the inside is basically the typical Rebecca Minkoff. It has black, um, like a vinyl canvas material. One pocket here, two open pockets here for a cell phone, and then there is a zip pouch right there. But all in all, super cute, um, really soft leather. Uh, the pebbled, the actual, like when you look at the size of the pebble leather, um, much smaller, finer grain. Um, definitely not worth the price though. This sucker's $300. Yeah. Make that face with me. $300. I don't think this is worth it. I know. I'm sorry, Rebecca Minkoff. I love your stuff, but nope. So this guy is adorable and I love him and he's super cute, but he's black and he's basic and he's not worth the price. So this guy for sure is going back and I'm sure some of the other ones are going back as well, or I will put them up on my Poshmark, which I do sometimes if I get something and I end up getting it, but I can't return it, or I just don't like it as much as I thought I would, I usually will put it on Poshmark. Almost every purse that you guys see over on my blog at styleassisted.com at some point will end up on Poshmark, because I just recycle purses so much, and I'm not a big fan of having a closet that has like 15 handbags in it, because let's be real, who switches handbags out that often? I don't. I do for events and blog stuff, but for the most part, I'm pretty like steadfast with the one purse at a time kind of thing with my red one right now is what I've been using. But yeah, you guys can always check out my Poshmark, which I think is at Adriel, A-D-R-I-E-L-E, -E, if I remember correctly. I'll link it below. Um, but that's it. Those are all the handbags I have to show you guys right now. Let me know if you like any of these um, and if you have a favorite out of all the ones that I have shown you today. And like I said, I will link it all below. I always do. And if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And I really appreciate you guys stopping by today and I will have new videos up soon. Have a great rest of your day. Oh, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and for makeup tutorials and hauls and all sorts of other things. So thanks guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye. Contouring is not super hard and if you guys have seen my videos, I actually did the Mascara Cosmetics Contour Palette and it's like contouring for idiots. I love it, it's fantastic. I've had several friends that have purchased it and have come back and said, oh my goodness, I've never been able to contour in my life and I can contour now. It's that good, I love it, I still use it all the time. But I'm always trying new stuff and this is great. I'm really excited about this and I'm glad that NYX actually listened and came out with lighter shades because you guys know when contour